Eh, fuck it. Have your morphine. <laughs> It helps her keep alive long enough for, for us to get her blood. <sighs> Thank you. Seriously. How long have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Well, I got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Terrorist organization. Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Hmm. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Yeah, I'm taking the I'm taking the call. Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing our security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets amidst TV links off. to- Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays, quote. Excuse me. Should I keep talking to her, or...? She thinks there's more people part of this, and I agree. So if we stop her from hanging up, we might be able to get some questions, right? Emily, wait! Please, give us something, help us. Yeah, seriously. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can... Hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplani myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm gonna look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think the air's getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of... Unless someone hacked it. Oxygen. This is supposed to be in a void, so it has to have its own separate supply of, well, oxygen, let's call it, or atmosphere. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover. Delicate, I'm assuming, was using the surgical tools. I mean, you could use the scalpels probably as like a... as a, uh... like a screwdriver. Doing the crude way, I don't think that's gonna work. Trying to smack away at it with a... very, very, very expensive microscope. Let's go delicate. We're gonna MacGyver this shit. I always wished I was taller. Careful what you wish for. Hey, mate, do you need a hand? 
Uh, can't you just use one of the chairs? One like Whitefield is the MVP. Most vanishing person? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. That was no. harsh. No, no, no. I'm proud you've grown some wit. Come on. Come to the island. That's it. <laughs> Got it? Good, yeah. No? Is it loosen up? Yeah. Nice work, tenant. So. Okay. That's it, give it here. Okay. You going in or not? Okay. Ready? Yeah, that's three. One, two, three. supposed to be there, is it? Reese, the vent continues behind the oxygen tank. Can you squeeze past it? Only one way to find out. Proceed with caution or go for it. Why are there oxygen tanks just sitting in the air vents, though? Surely these aren't supposed to be here. It's supposed to just be empty space for you know, air to flow. This looks more like it's a some kind of jerry rigged bomb. Proceed with the caution. I don't think these are supposed to be here. This sure went Resident Evil. Games ever used lasers though. That was just the movies. Bad it. That's excellent news. I thought you were going to get stuck. I think there's something further on. Machines now too. Nano cells, whatever. Marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> Why aren't these three getting along? What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking sneaky bastard. Access to the lab? Managed to get in or so. How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Hacker. Obviously. This guy. Wait, what were you? You injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I did 
destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, oh, I was heading to MI6. To... <clears throat> oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? Answer go! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. These guys. Those were the three. They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, office. guys, guys, there's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. Ben called. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? What are you hiding, Reese? We've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. <sighs> Speed drive. Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. I want her trust with morphine. We need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. Probably malware. As soon as you plug the USB drive into the system, it's going to launch a payload. Is it? I think it's a USB. Wait. Close it. This is really lame. Could you hold my hand? No, 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 don't do it. Give me a choice. Please. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm just really scared. <laughs> Go on. they be disinfecting that before handling it? Two files. Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? Both. Do we want a picnic or... She said Kensington and Kinder. I mean, that maybe that's just her actual like picnic folders or something. Let's go with uh, Kensington. If this gets out, we'll be answering to the UN. Kensington, Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages, and you got human trials to assess your technology. To burn one stone. Three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it, or we will. Hmm. Natalie's in on it. Um, I think my mind's. Thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the yes, video? Yes, clear. Quiet. Please. You sure? Picnic. Look, look! You've forgotten the wine, but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Nina's mad at me these days. Well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Raw onion bhajis, <laughs> egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. Claire takes too many selfies in London. 
<laughs> not that much. No, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Oh, her whole family were victims of the human trial thing. So that's already happened. You see... The Kandarian government and Natalie Kensington experimented with the own nano cells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. They're all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you were taking all the evidence from my sex. In that USB and in your veins. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. Until we give you more fame. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll just take the call. Reject call. You bitch. Amy, we need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look, I know a rush decision when I see one. Are you not going to expose Natalie after what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I, I really need the toilet again. Do you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no, no, you find your spread. I'll be sitting outside. Okay, okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. No, you do the right thing. You always do. A habit I wish I had. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? The absurdity. Not knowing whether saving someone was the right thing to do if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. The coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Cracking Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war tour and world tour you guys were on? Uh, find out more about what? confused you ever get put in an awkward situation where somebody's on the toilet and they're trying to have a conversation with you never n not a big fan of that I'm, I'm not sure what this choice does though like we're talking to mr toilet guy she joined in on the conversation let's find out more mean we're gonna keep talking and that or I have no idea. Find out more. Let's go with it. Enough with the wise cracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you feel, Amy. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. 
The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London to work, to live, to love. Funny story. <laughs> On my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map with disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right on top of it. How convenient. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. Dig our way into an even deeper underground what lab beneath us. We can't go across the void. We tried going up into the vent, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on oh, it. Oh, it's contaminated then. New plan. New plan. What do you have to know? I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. A seven layer beef burrito should do it. Do it by force? No, we gotta use our noggin. Let's take that chemistry and put it to good use, Doctor. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Not necessarily. I'm not a plumber, I'm a chemist. I don't know what kind of doctor she is. I figured more something in the line of biology since she's developing nano. the lowest point of the complex, the so Tabitha so. Greens must be right below us. Yeah, okay, Amy, but there's a toilet in the way. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher Ooh. put a small piece of potassium in yeah, water. Yeah, potassium. Surprisingly dangerous stuff. I always wanted to see what a full block would do. Because you're supposed to cut it first, though, I think. To increase the surface area. Oh, oh you are positively insane. <laughs> so now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Greens? Looks deep. So he pooped down there, so I don't know if we should go. Grab something big, drop something small, or just drop Amy. Um, what? I, I'm really curious to see what would happen, but. That's clearly the stupidest decision. Let's just drop something... Something small, because if we drop something big, it'll potentially plug up the hole down. Something small. Seven seconds. Shit. They're going to shoot their way in. Their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> He's infected. She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking. No, it's the fuck. oxygen. Answer call. Guys, 
The intruders are almost in, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. That's impossible. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I stuck it to her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even Reese hacked in easily. <laughs> Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? Uh... What good is accusing each other gonna do? Just everybody has to refocus. You know what? Fuck this. Everyone, calm down. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. Help us. Stall them. Do something. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Uh-huh. Parker? So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the Void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Send the pathogen Reese into the void. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. Okay, tell me through it as fast as you Initiate can. Initiate the white flash. Help, Amy! Help! Help! Huh. I don't see what going to the door is going to help. I guess we'll go to Claire. She's clearly severely destabilized. This coffin-like sarcophagus thing told me so. Go to clear. What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. Are you going to wear a mask? No. I trust you. No, I want my freedoms. Where'd you get your degree again? with something or if it's the oxygen. Did Parker tell you how to turn the vacuum back on? With a lack of reduction in. Not so smug now, are you? We're not out of the woods yet. They're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. The hacker himself is still in his mask the whole time. Come on. Fuck it, you bastards. So he's the only smart one of the three. them because if they did the vacuum then
fue. Wait, did the hacker get the door open? And then this guy shot him and took his mask? They all came in with masks, though. What the hell do they do? Call Natalie Kensington. You're okay? Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet, unplug the lab, plug it back in. No. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. A fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... When you get Claire's blood. What the fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's going to die anyway. She does make a good she point. She's sacrificing herself to save millions. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nano cells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? Hmm. What does Parker have to say about this? He seems on board. It's like if it's only four years of development, they can do they can start from scratch. Clearly, whatever they're doing right now isn't working. It's killing everybody that they've tested it on. Hmm. But then again, it is our job, and they seem on board. She is going to die anyways. Might as well. Yeah, we got a deal. Claire, prepare to die. Deal. Ooh, <laughs> Call me when it's done. Good luck, Inko. <gasps> What else could I say? Future proofing our career. You're right. Natalie's been lying the whole time. The lab's only in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. How? I should have brushed over my needle handling. Oh, he cross-contaminated himself. It wasn't in the air from the the case. Look, this is a Mexican standoff we're gonna lose. It won't be long until I'm like Claire, and eventually the oxygen will run out. So Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. I mean, if it's in his body, we can use him too. Claire, please give me your arm. I thought you were different. Claire. Your arm. Tell me honestly. Can you save me? No. Especially not under these circumstances, because we got armed people trying to break in, and it's only her and him. Like, you can't, you can't be saved. Just, that's, that's the truth. There's almost no chance of it. 
your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this. But if I do, I promise you that... The question is, is she also infected anyway? Because Stop. she also... I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. Uh, too late. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. Claire can live to fight another day. Way to undermine my authority and expertise. It's about time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realized that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. Oh. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move it. Because <laughs> he's in on some other group. Okay, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, White flash. that heat flash will trigger. Yep. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you you have a chance. What if he rushes in, though? I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. Let's take Claire, run, and save, and save her. What does our relationship status look like? Let's have a look see. Stats. Uh, so I th think that's her right there. 56%. These two died. I wonder if they could have lived, depending on our choices. Our bravery's gone up. Oh, good, our intelligence went up, too. Everything's gone up. Oh, man, Sens sensitivity could have gone down. That been, I would have been okay with that. Let us accept him. So here's my prediction, though. Like, he's going to open the door. That dude's going to just rush in and destroy him. Because he can't, it's not like he can get up and even tackle him and throw himself into the void or something. And it's a vacuum in the first place. So, how are, like, he would be in the non void section, wouldn't he? Or does the white flash happen in there as well? I think this plan will not work the way it's being presented, but. I'm more than happy to throw him in the bus, under the bus. Save her. I accept. <clears throat> He's been thinking it the whole time. No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? That's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. Oh, I fucking hate you. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindar to face it. The boy was there. Tell him. <laughs> Told me that he'd got into his university football team. The one I saved. I'm sorry for leaving you. I, mean, I just realized he was the doctor we were with in the very, very, very beginning. He was that other guy, I think. <laughs> was it? Yeah, just cough all over him. Get back. <sighs> Didn't your mother ever tell you not to kiss anyone carrying a life threatening pathogen? <laughs> appreciate the sentiment, though. More than you know.
right. What is it, Claire? Switch places with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection. And you two can escape. Hmm. That is true. But I have no interest in saving Reese. Let the doctors make the decision, because you are just a patient right now. Reese, you shall be sacrificed. No, Claire. You're under our care. It's our duty to do everything we can to save your life. Please, listen to me. Yeah, we hate Reese more than you. Reset the lab, Dr. Wakefield. Did you do that, Parker? No. Hey, Jenny. I'm sitting here. How are you? Chemical threat detected. Oh, he did make it all the way out there. I'm all right. So I'm guessing there is no vacuum in there then. I'm a little confused. Alpha system reset complete. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. I thought the vacuum was reinitiated, no? Oh, looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. Three minutes. Okay. I'm gonna lift your legs, Claire. Yeah. One, two, three. So I guess as long as she's in the little sarcophagus, then. It doesn't trip the system. Okay, okay. Got it? Okay. I'm gonna change back into my clothes too. This lab suit will draw too much attention. I can't stand. I'm gonna run to the disabled toilet. They have a fold up wheelchair. Just stay here. <laughs> Have you ever fired a gun before? Amy? Uh... Has she ever fired a gun? Probably not. Antagonistic. I don't... Is her belly button an Audi? Is that why... Or no, maybe her belt or something. Uh, let's... Go with calming. I don't know why we would antagonize anybody in this situation, calming it is. More times than I wish. War his own life. Ever shot someone? No. No, it was mainly panic fire, but I know how to pull a trigger. Good enough? I did have a killing spree in Unreal Tournament once. Whatever happens, don't let Kensington take me again. Please. I won't let that happen. I promise. I can hear my servers <laughs> kicking up as the heat in my room rises. Oh, that's 
that's a crack team right there. Emily wasn't bluffing about the security team. Seriously? Really? There's a back way up ahead. That's our best bet. Natalie's office is up there. She has to pay for what she's done. No, that's for MI6 to do. Yeah, because escaping really worked at Lawfew last time. <laughs> what the fuck? Security footage. Trickery by Wakefield. He's good. Yeah, he was. Uh-oh. Natalie. Step away from the panic button under your desk. Amy, I can sense you want to negotiate. Where are you okay? Fuck off. What do you want? For someone to be accountable for all this. Hmm, my choices involve either raising the stakes or raising the stakes. Choices, choices. Raise the stakes. Or raise the stakes. Which one should I pick? I think we'll go with, uh, mm, yeah, let's raise the stakes. Whoa. Amy, what are you doing? Amy. Dr. Malkin and three interns were sleepers, activated by the Kandarian government. Claire's actions threatened to expose the human testing their leader allowed Natalie to do on villages that opposed him. You are making very outlandish claims, Amy. What makes you think that anyone in this room had anything to do with this? Only the people here have the power to facilitate that level of infiltration. You're right. Emily hired Malkin and selected the interns. Parker. What? How can you question my loyalty? I went to Kingdom to cover your tracks. I admit it. I admit it. These are his lips. Clear. I did a deal with Kendar. I'm ashamed. But it was all in the name of this miracle tech. Can't you see that? She's behind all of this. Kill her. Why are you discounting Claire? Maybe she paid us all in the name of her supreme leader. More likely, the supreme leader has bought you, Parker. <laughs> Amy, you're not a murderer. Are you dead behind the house? How can you try and kill the mother? She's not a murderer. You're the one that's behind the house. Aim on you. This ends here. Am I choosing who to kill? Who shall we kill? So, let's see. Parker himself, the the dude with the cowboy hat, it's his lab. Like, he runs a lot of these labs. He's the the head honcho of everything. He's the one person I would be like, you're cool. He basically runs the whole place type of thing. Or maybe not runs it, but it's his. Natalie's good old chummy chummy friends. But clearly they're Pushing her as the culprit, we have the video evidence. Assuming the video evidence wasn't doctored in some way. Emily's a... I don't know. Most likely seems innocent. We also have the option of being able to opt out. I guess by shooting ourselves. Well, I might be tempted to do that... I think I'm going to choose to shoot Natalie. Her name even has the word lie in it. It's Natha Lie. Sorry, old buddy, friend, ma'am. You die. Hopefully there was more than one bullet. You deserve this. Oh, that's some great A special effects. Crap. No, 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 no. Maybe everyone dies, and then, in that case. Why 
Why'd you have to shoot him, man? He's How much money was Kendar paying you? Doesn't matter anymore. Who are you working for? Oh, you did shoot your boss. <laughs> Clean shots to all the bodies, never fired a gun. Impressive. I cut a deal with the Secret Service once I found out about Natalie's actions. You knew already. Anything that happens in the lab, I know about. Oh, shit. Of course, I found out that Natalie had made duplicates of the master batch, so I informed MI6, and they were going to arrest her once I delivered the nanocells in the interests of public safety. And then you happened. No organization would use technology this powerful solely for good. It's not how the world works. After what I've seen today, I think you're right. Well, you might as well just let the things kill her. Kill Claire and destroy the nano cells. No. If you kill her, you can't recover your nano cells. We're in too deep here. We're in too deep. We need to keep her alive so we can get her blood. She's the last remaining sample. I mean, if she dies, it's like a virus. The nano cells die with her. You can't, you can't give that up, Amy. I'm sorry. We have to keep her alive. Oop. I promise. The world will know about you and your family. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot. I'm with MI6. I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab my identification. See? I have evidence. Natalie Kensington committed human rights violations in Kindar. Okay, arrest me. Do whatever. Just, just make sure the authorities see this. Yeah, make sure they plug it into their main computer system. If you ever find a USB drive randomly, don't just plug it into your computer, by the way. I'll avoid the details of explaining why. Just don't do it. Is Claire going to be able to recover the blood now? Hmm. Feels like I'm missing a bit of a chunk of the story, which I think other routes would uh, add detail to. Uh, as a one run through the way I ran it, it was really interesting story wise. I mean, it's already dealing with uh, bio biochemical topics of weapons, uh, as well as nanotechnology. Some wacky conspiracy stuff. I don't know what the heck the dictatorship thing is all about. And the twist, apparently, is that she already knew about all of this to begin with. So she's been playing us as a fool. Yeah, there's eight or nine endings in total. And I may actually try and see if I can get some of them. You guys can't see it, but on the bottom right it now says tab to skip credits. There is a option that should have now unlocked that I completed it, that I can skip watched scenes. And I think for this game I might actually go ahead and try a few alternates. I may do a uh, go back to that last bit if I can and see what happens if I shot her, if she shot herself, what happens. Because I think a lot of other things leading up to it, there's one other thing I'm curious about, and that's what if I chose Amy to jump down the hole? Would that have actually happened, or would it have just been like the other scenarios where 
even though I chose one thing, something else prevents it from happening anyways. Okay, I was like, like make the, or don't make the call. But then the other guy did anyways, or hung up or whatever. I do like the whole umbrella corporation feel in the laboratory, so I'm glad the whole thing was practically in there. That was that was a nice thing. I don't get this vacuum thing though, especially towards the end when he, when when the dude went out to trigger the heat system. The impression I had was it was under vacuum at the time. Like the hackers deactivated it. That's why two of those guys were taken off, like took off their their masks. Uh, but then when they reinitiated the vacuum system, that's how two of them ended up dying. Did the reboot somehow depressurize it again? I mean, that looked like a large cavity that you can't just pressurize that much space in the time scales that we were given. Uh, see reasons why the Hyperloop has been facing all sorts of problems, it's, it takes a long time and a lot of energy to to pressurize and depressurize spaces that are that large. So you say he reset the lab which disabled the vacuum. Okay. So he, he de depressurize it. It just seems like it happens so fast though. Like, even depressurizing it would have been, uh... Well, if you ever poke the balloon with a needle, you you know, the explosive tendency. But I'm willing to suspend the disbelief of that. Just I didn't realize the... Quite the situation that was going on there. Interesting story, for sure. I am curious to try out some uh, alternative options now. Tap the skip.